Hi, I'm Frankie, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the Azure AI Foundry portal. We'll go over all the major features and why they're important. And because I value your time, you can find a one minute version of this video in the link in the description. But if you want to get a little deeper and actually see a walkthrough of the portal itself, then this video is for you. Before we walk through the portal, let's answer one question. What is Azure AI Foundry? Azure AI Foundry is a unified platform for developing, deploying, and managing generative AI applications. Before Azure AI Foundry, you'd have to take a bunch of different tools and mash them all together in order to create a single AI app. And then all of those tools would have to be managed and juggled in order to maintain and continue to upgrade that app. But with Azure AI Foundry, you have all the tools you need in one place. Now let's dive into the portal. All right, let's get to the Azure AI Foundry portal by first going to ai.azure.com. Once we're in Azure AI Foundry, we can start by creating a project. I'll call it New Project 101. I can see here too, there will be a list of other resources that are going to be created. We want to customize some of these as well. So I'll hit Customize. There's always going to be a hub that gets created. So you'll have projects within hubs within Azure AI Foundry. A hub can have many projects and a project will only be part of one hub. So I'll call this new hub 101. I also want this all in a new resource group. I'll call it new RG 101. My location, I'll choose East US. My Azure AI services resource, I'll call new AI services 101. I could connect an Azure AI search resource, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So I'll skip doing that for now. I'll review the final details of what's going to be created. That all looks good and I'll go ahead and create it. I'll speed up the creation process until it's done. My project is done being completed. Now let's take a look at the overview page for it. At the top of our nav bar, we have a place where we can access all the hubs and projects. We have a spot for notifications, a place to toggle preview features, some AI Foundry settings, any feedback that we might want to give the Azure AI Foundry product group. You can change the scope of your project and also the directory that you're in. Going back to the far left here, we have our model catalog. The model catalog is where you can search, find, and compare AI models based on a variety of different properties. There's AI models that you can search for that have been created by specific companies that are for specific industries, that has specific capabilities, deployment options are for specific tasks, can be fine-tuned, and even AI models with specific licenses. If we click compare models, we can compare models by cost and other metrics. Once you've selected an AI model and deployed it, you can play with it with any of the playgrounds that are available. The chat playground is the most common, but there's a handful of other playgrounds as well. We can go to the AI services page and see that there's a variety of other types of AI functionality that we can infuse within our AI apps. Within the build and customize menu, we can also go to code and we have templates that we can start using right out of the box to begin building some scenarios that are common within Azure AI Foundry. We can also go to the VS Code container section where we can create a compute in order to use VS Code within the Azure AI Foundry portal. This creates a virtual machine that we'll be able to remote into for VS Code. Going over to fine tuning, in this section, we could start to fine tune a model if we want to make the model act based on our specific requirements where using retrieval augmented generation isn't enough for our purposes. In the prompt flow section, we can create prompt flows based on a variety of different templates. In the access and improve section, we can go to tracing, where after you've deployed an AI model, you can use the tracing and debugging features to follow along API calls to your model to track down where issues may arise and what you can do to improve it. The evaluation section allows us to have automated evaluations and manual evaluations that we can use to test how well our model is performing. And the safety and security section will help you create content filters and add additional security measures 
to protect your AI model from performing in a way that you don't want it to. Your My Assets section is where you'll find your models and endpoints that have been deployed. Right now, we don't have any deployed models. Your Data and Indexes section is where you'll add your data if you want to create indexes, if you want to have data sets for evaluations, or if you want to use data to fine-tune a model. You'll also see your web apps that have been deployed using your AI models here. Now, so far, everything that we've gone over has been for your specific project, new project 101. And this is because we're in the project page. If you wanna do more administrative tasks, you've got to come down to the management center. The management center can be found here, or you can go directly to the all hubs and project section, which will also take you to the management center. When I select this, we'll see on the top of the Azure AI Foundry nav bar, that now we're in within the management center. Within the management center, this is where we'll see now our different hubs and projects and the resources within them. In this overview page of all hubs and projects, I can see my hub and my project. And if I had other hubs and projects, I'd see them here as well. I can go over to the management center at the top and I can select quota. This quota section will allow you to see what models are available to your subscription in specific regions, along with the different types of compute that are also available to you. If you see that there are certain computes that are not available to you, you'll need to request access. These VMs are separate from the standard virtual machines that you'd find on Azure. They have specialized AI libraries in them that make them perfect for fine tuning models, for running prompt flows, and for hosting your AI applications. Going over to the overview section for a hub, we can see the different projects within a hub and some basic information about the hub. We can see the different users that are involved with the hub and we can add and remove users to help collaborate within AI projects. In the management center's models and endpoints section for your hub, you'll see all the different deployed models that you have. And you can also see all the connected resources within the connected resources section. These are resources within Azure that Azure AI Foundry has permission to use. The compute section will show you what compute you have actively running and what's available. And then you have a project specific section, which shows you some of the same information that a hub does, only more specific to a project itself. When you wanna go back to a project, you can just go to the go back to project. Something else to know when navigating the Azure AI Foundry portal, if you go to the homepage by selecting Azure AI Foundry, you'll find this section here on Azure Open AI. Azure Open AI had its own portal for building apps specific to Azure Open AI models. And so we can go to that by selecting this, let's go here. So if you get confused within Azure AI Foundry because you don't recognize the menu options available, always check the top to make sure you know where you are. Because here we see we're in the Azure Open AI Service Portal now. So if you wanna go back to the standard Azure AI Foundry section where you'll have hubs, portals, and everything else we've discussed, just go to Azure AI Foundry and you can just jump into a project. Now that you have a general understanding of the Azure AI Foundry portal, your next step is to choose a model, deploy it, and play with it within the chat playground. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough on the Azure AI Foundry portal. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. And if you want to see how you can create a deployment and play with it in the chat playground, you might want to check out these next two videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.